it's hugely important. That collaboration is not something new, but we're just demonstrating how a private company can come in and, and be a vital part of the military to launch satellites. It was a really smooth flight for us. Um, it was great that the mission really went exactly how we thought it would. It was our first nighttime launch, which, um, you know, when you add that onto what we did on our last launch, which was the first kind of flight through inclement weather, this one's at night. It's just adding to that capability each time. And when we look to the, to the future, we're going to do our first international operation out of the UK. So every flight we're doing, we're just adding to, to the capability that we've got on demonstrating that. It was our fourth operational flight carrying seven experimental satellites for the U.S. Space Force, part of a DOD program for testing satellites. These are really experimental satellites. They're, they're testing new satellite technologies, um, how you build them, how they communicate, uh, different applications, whether it was uh, different aspects of, of GPS approaches, uh, communications approaches, different antennas, as well as some basic earth science, studying the upper atmospheres and some of the trace gases uh, in, um, you know, in, in the upper atmosphere. So really a wide variety of, of uh, experiments. The best example today is what's going on in Ukraine. Every evening, every single one of us is looking at satellite imagery to understand what's happening there. Without it, we wouldn't. And, you know, that's how our, our, our national security world understands what's going on. That's how we understand where there is conflict and understand how to contain it and control it and hopefully avoid it. I was lucky enough to do the first guided firing of a new weapon on Typhoon. And I remember standing next to the airplane waiting to do that mission. Um, and you, you know, there's definitely a sense of pressure. There's definitely a feeling of you want to go that, out there and, and, and do your best and execute the mission. And as I stood there two nights ago, waiting to be called forward to Cosmic Girl, to get called that it's safe to, to enter the airplane, it's the same feeling. And it's also the knowledge that you know that you can you can rely on your training and you can go execute the job. You know, you, you have no doubt when you step aboard that airplane that whatever happens, you're, you're good to go and you can do the job. So there's a huge reliance on the training that, that I've had before. Once you're up there, actually, you know, like everyone else in the company, particularly during launch, you're just focused on doing your job. That's the only thing you're thinking about. It's only when you get down and it's all, all calmed down afterwards, you think about what it is you've just gone out and done. And you, you have these images in your head of looking out the window and and seeing this rocket just, just heading for space, it's incredible. We've been working with the UK Space Agency with our spaceport Cornwall and the RAF now for a number of years. It's incredibly important, as, as I mentioned before, for you know any nation really these days to have the ability to put eyes, ears, communication and capability in space. It's just showing that for our customers, we can launch at any time, particularly Cornwall, we know already that we're going to be doing a night launch because that's what the customer requires. And um, it's the same as, as the weather. You know, we don't want to be stuck on the ground. When we say we're going to launch, we want to be able to get up there and do the job. Particularly lucky how with the UK coming up so soon to be involved in that as well. You know, it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a big day for the UK. We've, we've had a great satellite market for a long time, but we've been missing launch. So to be involved for that first launch is, is incredibly exciting.